What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going to be going through a method in which you use the legendary bounty to go and make yourself as much money as possible. This method does take some time but you'll be making hundreds of dollars by the end of it. The first thing you want to do is go over to a bounty board and select the legendary bounty. Now it doesn't really matter of what level that legendary bounty is. If you play through a bounty and then complete it, the next time you play through it it's a bit more difficult. But it seems no matter which version of that you do, whether it be a one star going all the way up to a five star you're still able to get yourself a lot of money now with this i can't really predict the areas these legendary bounties are going to be in within the next couple of weeks but for this week we have got etta doyle and she is located in saint denis if you didn't know already saint denis is a great place to go hunting you can get a number of different birds and their feathers go for quite a bit of money so this is a very good area the other thing to talk about is the setups of bounty missions normally when you go over to a bounty board and and you select the legendary bounty it gives you one of two things the first thing is that it will set you up in a location just outside the area where the mission starts so you then have to travel in and that is when the mission starts whereas other ones like Eto Doyle it starts the mission straight away you'll have a cutscene a cinematic at the beginning and then it goes straight away into the mission no matter what the legendary bounty is there is always free time when you can just ride off and do your own thing with Eto Doyle it's towards the end of the mission once you have lassoed and hogtied Eto Doyle and put her on the back of your horse whereas other ones it will be before the mission itself so with this what you're going to do is complete the Etta Doyle mission so you're gonna go in you're gonna hide you're gonna ambush the gang you're gonna find Etta Doyle if you have played this legendary bounty already normally there is a couple different cursors on the map and it suggests that they could be Etta Doyle but there is only one that is actually the person you want to get so you need to go through quickly go and hogtie someone see if it's her it's not her go on to the next but eventually you will get her and as soon as you do you then have unlimited limited time to do what you want you can go off do a bit of hunting you can go off go and do a bit of collecting you can do whatever it is you want to do to make money what you're seeing on screen right now is that I'm actually trying to push the trader so I want to go and hunt as many different animals as possible with the fact that this is a legendary bounty and I have got someone on the back of my horse I can't really get animal carcasses and store them on the back of my horse because there is already someone else there but what I can do is store hides on the back of my horse as well as I can get the smaller animals such as the birds the rabbits the snapping turtles any of that good stuff and i can store that in my satchel with this as well you have unlimited time as far as i can tell i was doing this for about 30 40 minutes and the timer did not pop up to say that i have to go back if you remember with stranger missions it gives you a timer straight away and with dynamic events it doesn't give you a timer until the last five minutes which means you can be playing through a dynamic event for 15 minutes and then suddenly a five minute timer will pop up to say that you have five minutes left i thought that might have been a similar thing with this legendary bounty but that wasn't the case we just did not get a timer never it never ever happened and it was only by choice when i went back to complete this legendary bounty that it actually finished as soon as i completed this legendary bounty i managed to get myself 151 dollars just by completing it that's not including all the animal parts that i managed to get and you also have to bear in mind the fact that this is now going into a private lobby just so you can do this legendary bounty there is a ton of animals if you didn't know right now with in Red Dead Online there is a massive problem with animal spawns. If you're in a lobby and there's a lot of people it seems like the animal spawn rate has been reduced massively. We're talking about moments where you'll just be riding around trying to hunt looking for animals and you won't be able to find a single animal for 10-15 minutes. But with this you're going into a private lobby to complete this legendary bounty there's no other players you will find yourself a ton of animals getting yourself a ton of different animal parts which can then later be sold at the butcher or it could be donated to cribs at the camp so for completing this legendary bounty i did get 151 dollars like i said i got 44 gold nuggets and i got just over 1000 xp on top of that i then went to the butcher after i completed this bounty mission and i managed to sell everything that i managed to hunt whilst doing this legendary bounty from that i managed to get 76 dollars and 89 cents on top of the 151 dollars that i got from the mission so that's a very good return i would have put some of these animal parts from my camp but unfortunately i was dealing with the bug where the camp just would not spawn in i cannot believe rockstar still haven't fixed this but this does give you a choice of whether or not you want to put animal parts through the butcher or whether or not you want to put animal parts through the camp i have said before that i only normally put animal carcasses through my camp because that is more efficient when it comes to bird feathers you manage to get yourself more money through putting it through the butcher than what you would do if you was to put it through the camp but anyway guys that is a way to be extremely efficient whilst going through this legendary bounty and it's a way that will make you a lot of money just by playing through it for say 
30, maybe even 40 minutes. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.